G'day scrappers, just doing a uh, scrap metal price check this week, we'll see how we go, see if the prices have changed, just waiting for a bin, and uh, yeah, so right here I've got clean pressing steel, and at the back I've got two wheelie bins of mid-grade insulated wire, so we'll see how we go. I'll make a start as soon as the bin comes. Okay.
I'm glad it's out of my system. Mid-grade insulated wire, all cut, ready to go. No plugs, two bins. Yay! Okay, well this time I'm just bringing in some irony aluminium and uh, I didn't have uh, room Yeah, um, I didn't have room to bring in the uh, um, my extruded aluminium because I had to get rid of these filing cabinets. I made some room in the uh, garage. I used my storage boxes to pack away all the stuff that was in these three big filing cabinets so I'm just getting rid of them and uh, so all I had room for was irony aluminium um, there's also good sheet aluminium there I just give it to them as irony I don't care just trying to get rid of it
But I know where to get rid of those um, gas bottles. Today, the first day, the hardware store's open, so... I can uh, drop them off at the gas recycling or gas bottle depot. So only a small drop off, but a good one. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll drop them gas bottles off on the way back home. How are you, buddy? Pressing on it. That's it. Okay. Yeah, so he already knows my name, and uh, I don't have to wait for them to um, take it all away and weigh it up. Very straightforward today, just. Yeah, I don't know if you heard me then, before, but uh, yeah, it was just uh, irony aluminium that um, I only took it because uh, I wanted to get rid of the filing cabinets. Um, I've got a whole big batch of uh, extruded aluminium that I need to take. And so the irony aluminium was mostly just, uh, oh, um, I forgot I got onto the Weybridge. Uh, yeah, the only aluminium was just um, mostly hard drives that I picked up from a client. They, uh, they strip out the hard drives themselves, take out the platters, uh, scratch them all up and, and stuff. So yeah, I just keep the board. I remove the boards off the backs and yeah, just uh, throw them in as Ioni Alley. Okay, well I've come back from uh, the scrapyard uh, another trip, but I forgot to actually put on video. <laughs> um, but I got the prices anyway, so uh, just an update on some of the more common things that uh, we're getting scrapping. Um, the steel that I took in at the start, mixed pressing steel, it came up as. Um, it's a little bit different to clean pressing steel because I had oversized pieces in there as well. So they call it mixed pressing steel. So it's a little bit less. It's still okay, 22 cents a kilo. The only thing with mixed pressing steel is there's a little levy on it. Um, I can't remember, 8% or something like that because um, there's oversized pieces. But that's all right. Still uh, a good price. Prices are looking pretty good actually. Like. Um, PVC, mid-grade copper wire, uh, insulated wire, $2.85 a kilo. So that's about the highest it's been um, for a long time. So prices are really good, especially for uh, copper and stuff, you know. Uh, the Irony Alley that I took in, uh, again, $0.45 cents a kilo. It's, it's about as good as it kind of gets. Um, and the extruded alley that I just took in now, that I forgot to video, um, amazing price, $1.75 for extruded aluminium per kilo. So that's a really good price, $1.75, you know, geez, you know. Um, yeah, so excellent for extruded aluminium. Um, I took in 
one and a half wheelie bins full, so I should get a bit of a payout there. I took in the 20 kilos of brass again, mixed brass, um, 5.25 a kilo, so that's awesome. Brass is just unbelievable. Uh, can't go wrong with brass there. And uh, electric motors, 75 cents a kilo, so again, almost about as high as I've seen in a couple of years. And then uh, a couple of coppers, just out of interest sake, so your candy copper, so your copper pipe and stuff like that, um, $8.10 a kilo, and clean Milbury copper, so the copper that you strip from wire um, and so on, clean, bright and shiny, $8.30 a kilo. So, yeah, you know, about as high as it really gets. Uh, I can't see it getting much higher than that at the moment, but that's awesome. Uh, so for those that are stacking copper, well, your stack is looking good here in Melbourne anyway, $8.30 a kilo. Um, just awesome. So there you go, guys. Um, and I just realized that today was also election day in the US. So uh, good luck to whoever's running. Um, what is it? Trump and Biden, I think. Yeah. Uh, phew. I wouldn't have a clue who's going to win, but I reckon uh, the way things go, I reckon, uh, well, if Trump won last time against Hillary, um, I think he's going to win again. That's just my opinion, but I don't know anything about US politics. I don't know what difference it makes anyway. You know, they all do the same thing in the end. They don't, they don't uh, uh, do what they promise. They just, you know do their spiels, say what they want to say, just to get elected, and then the powers that be, the puppet masters, tell them what to do, and they just go along, but uh, interesting anyway, and um, you know, uh, yeah, who knows, I, I don't think it makes much of a difference really, because nothing in the world has really changed since Trump started, so I think he's going to win, but even if Biden wins, well, you know, he seems a bit old, seems to forget a bit of things, so um, who knows. But uh, either way, good luck to everyone in America. Um, keep safe. Hopefully the uh, coronavirus uh, ends for you soon. Hopefully you don't go through the lockdown that we went through. Um, 110 days of solid lockdown here in Melbourne, Australia. Uh, but look, you know, it's been good. We're starting to get our freedom back, so, you know, even if you do have to go in lockdown, just get it out the way, get it over and done with. Hopefully by Christmas, we're free from this rubbish, and, uh, yeah, good luck. Keep scrapping, guys, and I'm um, going out to uh, do a, uh, a bit of a pickup, so it'll be interesting. It's a new client, um, so it'll be interesting to see what I get there. It sounds like machinery type kind of thing, so... Uh, I might even do a quick little video update on that when I get back. Keep scrapping, and I'll catch you next time.